y'all. Today on Amber's Eats, I'm still on a baking kick because you guys really got me going with the strawberry cake. So I feel like I'm kind of on a roll at this point, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, today, I want to do my mom's tea cakes. And the reason I decided to do cookies is, well, there's several reasons. One, with a cake, when you make a cake, I feel like it's a little more difficult to get rid of. Like, when you make a batch of cookies, you can package them up in batches and give those suckers away if you don't want them all in your house. Or, you can keep them all in your house. It's just not safe for me to do that. Um, another reason I like cookies is I think they're a little more kid-friendly. Barrett would probably never turn down a piece of cake, but I think he would be more likely to get a cookie because it's something that he can handle himself. So, especially for parents of smaller kids, I think cookies are a fun way to give them a treat. So, I am going to do my mom's recipe of a tea cake. Growing up, we, when she made cookies, it was usually either a sugar cookie or a tea cake. And what I like about a tea cake is it's true to its name. It, it is a little more cakey, um, but still the compact, easy to grab cookie that we all love. So this recipe is really, really simple. We have a stick of butter. I'm going to add in a cup of sugar, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then two cups of flour. So the extra flour is what's gonna make it a little more cakey. As far as cookies go, they're a quicker dessert. Um, usually they're in the oven 10 minutes or so, and you don't have to wait for them to cool, which is also really good. Overall, I think it's just a win-win with a cookie. And if you're just looking for a quick dessert, a cookie is always going to be something that people like, depending, no matter what cookie you make. And they're fun. You can customize them, do whatever you want to them. And so today I'm going to do a regular tea cake and then I'm going to make a glaze for them at the end and do a little lemon glaze just because lemons are nice um, for a spring summery day. Since this recipe is so simple, I am not even gonna get out my big mixer. I'm just gonna use my hand mixer. So I already have my stick of softened butter in here. I'm going to add in one cup of sugar. Go ahead and get that going. So just like you would in a regular mixer, you just want to get the butter and sugar really creamed together. So you just want to mix until this is nice and fluffy and creamy. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add in my eggs, breaking my own rule here and all the major bakers of the world and not cracking into something else. I'm just gonna crack them right into the bowl. And get those incorporated. just to make sure that we've got everything in there. All right, so now I'm gonna add two cups of flour. And I'm using a half cup measure 
So I've really got to count here. All right, that's two cups. Start slow, otherwise you'll be covered in flour. sprayed it with baking spray and I'm gonna scoop these out with an ice cream scoop I really wish I had like another size a little bigger than this but I don't so I'm just gonna do like kind of a rounded scoop not really level it off too much These just, a scoop just makes sure they're all the same size. You don't wanna get them too close together because these will spread a little. Okay, I'm gonna move these back just a tiny bit. All right, there's one pan. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other. These cookies are going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So you really wanna make sure you watch them um, because everybody's oven is different, but 10 to 12 minutes. About halfway through, I'm going to rotate my pans just because I want these cookies to cook really evenly. So I am going to set my timer for about five minutes and I'll switch them and then put them in for another five minutes. So I'll be right back. While those finish cooking, I am going to work on this glaze. So in my bowl, I already have a cup of powdered sugar. And in here, I have about, probably about a third of a, cup, of a cup of heavy cream. And I'm just going to add it and whisk until I get to the consistency that I like. So, here we go. Maybe I should switch hands. A glaze is super easy because you're going to just make it as thick or as thin as you want. So right now, it's pretty thick. And what I'm gonna do is with the cookies is just dip them in um, and then let them dry. So I want this to be a little bit thinner, but before I add any more cream, I wanna go ahead and get my lemon in there um, because that the juice is going to thin it out a little bit. So on top of the lemon juice, I'm gonna do a little lemon zest in here too. And a lemon, when you zest a lemon, you're just getting the top layer of that peel. You don't wanna get the white rind, just the peel. And you should be able to smell your lemon when you're doing this. And you just rotate your lemon as you go. Smells so good. I just feel like lemon is such a spring, summer flavor. And sometimes with a glaze like this, it, it's pretty sugary, obviously, because it's a lot of powdered sugar. And 
the lemon just kind of cuts that sweetness and adds a little bright flavor to it, which I love. All right, so I've got a good bit of lemon zest in there. Now I'm gonna cut my lemon. I'm gonna start with just half, see how that goes. So this is a very juicy lemon. I'm also going to go ahead and add oops, about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then let's see how it goes. Oh yeah. It smells so good. So if you were glazing a cake, you would want this glaze to be pourable. So you would want to be able to just pour it right out of the bowl, which this you could. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, that smells so good. All right, so I'm gonna leave that glaze how it is. And then when my cookies come out, I'm gonna let them cool a little bit and then I'll glaze them all. All right, our cookies are out of the oven and they've cooled just a little bit. This recipe made about 21 cookies, so almost two dozen. And I guess that's going to depend on how big of a cookie you make or how small. So my glaze, remember, is powdered sugar. I put in a little bit of heavy cream, then I zested a lemon and juiced half of it into here. And I also put a teaspoon of vanilla. So if your lemon is not as juicy, you may have to do a whole. It's just really gonna depend on how you want your glaze and how juicy your lemons are. So I took part of the cookies and let them cool on this wire rack and I'm just going to dip them in and put them back on the rack. So they just have a pretty little glaze on top. And I'm not going to do all of my cookies because um, I think the boys in this house would rather have just a plain rather than a lemon. So I'm just going to do the ones on this rack and leave the rest for the boys. But this makes a lot of glaze, so you would definitely have enough to do all of your cookies. Probably even a double batch, since you're just doing the top. And with this last cookie, I just wanna show you guys how fluffy the inside is. These are not, I mean, like they're very soft and you break them apart and it's kind of like cake on the inside. So that's why they're called tea cakes. They're super yummy, especially when they're warm. I love the outside this outer edge, it's crunchy, but then the inside is so soft and moist. So these are definitely a crowd pleaser, a family favorite, something I grew up eating. And it's something that you can change up depending on what kind of glaze you like, whether you want glaze at all, you can put frosting on them, let your kids do whatever they want to on them. It can be super fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think.